Okay, I'm gonna make a quick little video on how to make your fractional composition equations. Um, basically, we're gonna start with um, making a hypothetic acid. We'll call it, um, you know, H4A. So it has four protons. And then we'll make our equilibrium equations. So H, uh, H3A and then H3A to H2A and then we have H2A to H, oops, HA, and then we have HA to A. And then we're gonna make these um, pKa's. So pKa equals one, pKa equals three, pKa equals five, and pKa equals seven. Um, these were gonna be provided, obviously, for the exam. And so, so you have you have this hypothetic acid, hypothetical apps acid, and so you want to find how much you know fractional composition of um, H four A is fractional composition of H three, and so on, H two, um, and H um, A, and finally fully deprotonated. So we have four, three, two, one, and nothing. So you have to know how to come up with each one of these. Um, and the first thing I do is start with the denominator. So the denominator is essentially gonna be the same for each one of these. So you go D equals H to the fourth power. And you start with how much how many protons you actually started with. So you have um, four protons that you can lose. Um, so you you start the denominator, first value for the denominator as how many protons you can lose. And so you add that to H to the cubed and you account for that one you've lost by multiplying by Ka1. And then you just repeat the sort of, it's a sort of pattern, so it's H squared um, Ka1, Ka2. So you accounted for two protons you've lost, and then you you add another H. So this one is H to the one. You don't really need that one, but I mean, I'm showing you the pattern. It's four, three, two, one. And each time you've lost one, you've accounted by multiplying the Ka. And then this is Ka1, Ka2, and Ka3. And so the last expression is k or h to the zero. Now that's optional because you know that that just equals one. Then you just multiply ka1, ka2, ka3, and finally ka4. And so this is your denominator, um, and you can you know uh, pretty much uh, formulate all the other fractional equations really fast by just doing that first. And then once you've done that, you want to know fractional of H4A, fractional H3A, fractional H2A, and so on. And, oops, and then, yeah, one, two, three, four, five equations. And so the first one, you have all the protons, so you just do H Q, uh, to the fourth power, and then divide that by D. Here you have three protons, so it's cubed Ka1, divide that by D. Here it's H squared Ka1, Ka2, all over D. Here it's just one proton, so it's just H, Ka1, Ka2, Ka3 over D. And in here it's... Um, uh, all of the protons have lo been lost, so you essentially account for that by doing Ka1, Ka2, Ka3, and Ka4 over D. And so that makes sense because here in the in the first equation, you haven't lost. You want to find the amount of proton or the amount of this fully protonated acid um, that hasn't lost any uh, protons and you do that because you haven't multiplied by any Ka in the numerator 
And this, this is, is mathematically comes out to be, um, you know, how much of the, um, the amount of, of protons that have been dissociated. I mean, it's, it's mathematically sound, I guess, but it's, um, it's pretty straightforward. This is, it, once you find the denominator, um, which is the same for each one of the expressions, you can easily find um, the amount of, uh, of that type of acid. And, um, you know, one of the examples was um, this one um, at pH seven, find how much of the fully deprotonated um, conjugate base is in the solution so you just basically you know you you see how this has no protons in the numerator so you don't account for that in the numerator but again the denominator is the same and that's pretty much it